Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. All right, not really, but this is the outlet right behind my bed. And you can see, I've had a little surprise with it. I just happened to kind of look behind the bed and notice this is all gone. <laughs> so it would be very easy for me while sleeping to accidentally flip my hand back there and hit that. So, this needs to be replaced. I have already turned off the power to it. I uh, turned the uh, stereo up really loud and uh, flipped breakers until the power went off because I knew this was on the same circuit as the stereo. And I also had this light you see plugged in right there. And so I knew, and the light went off. So, I've plugged the light into another circuit and it is time to take this plate off and replace the outlet. So,. Thankfully, this isn't a newer part of the house, so the wiring is not quite as dodgy in this part of the house. Well, guys, I am actually very glad this happened. And I'm also going to say one other thing. Is that um, this might also be, what I'm about to show you might also be the cause. Look at that there on the neutral. It's kind of, it's got a little hot right there. And you can kind of see some char in there on the inside of the box. Uh, one thing I don't like about these metal boxes they use, now remember this edition was built in about 1974, so these, this was the norm for that time period, but these boxes are freaking cramped. I would like, very much like to be able to, you know, switch this over to where the wires are joined together and then the outlet's pigtailed. The problem with that is, I know from experience, these boxes are very hard to work with in this real estate compartment. Real estate compartment? Real estate department. They're pretty cramped when you do that. I know this from replacing all the outlets over in the family room. They all, It all had these kinds of boxes. So, I was kind of tempted just to do the new outlet like this. However, after seeing this, no way. Uh, what I highly suspect is that just kind of knowing this house and just what I think is one of these wires, uh, one of these Romex lines right here is coming from the breaker box or at least a junction box in the attic. And then this goes out to basically all the other outlets on the circuit. And basically this is the first outlet on the chain of outlets. That's the best way I know to say it. It comes in here from probably a junction box because the lights in this room are also on the same breaker. Uh, so basically into this outlet, out of this outlet, to the two outlets in the bathroom, and then one, two, three, four outlets here in the bedroom. Oh yeah, and I regularly plug a space heater into one of those outlets too. So... That's uh, not a good situation there. Now, thankfully, based on what I've seen in the house, this looks... Uh, I really can't tell if that's 12 or... No, wait, that's 14. That's 14 gauge, so... It's just... For a second, for some reason I was thinking it's 12, but it looks like more, for, like, more like 14. Yeah, that's definitely 14 now that I've looked at it, so... That might actually give me a little extra room. So, anyway, I'm going to go, I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, pigtail this. And I may have to move my bed out to get some more room to work. <sighs> okay, well, but if you're a homeowner, you need to expect to be able to have to do these little projects. Well, I got back from the hardware store getting the stuff that I needed. Uh, there's also a couple tools that caught my eye. I spent, <laughs> I spent almost 50 bucks at the hardware store. And that was just kind of stupid. But there was a couple tools I've been wanting to get. And they had them in the $5 bin. So I figured, why not just go ahead and get them. And so, anyway. That's kind of stupid. So, yeah, it's... Yeah, I get blah, blah, blah about that, but anyway, I also got mail when I got home. I got a eBay package, and I'll go into this here in a bit, and I also got a, a card from the endodontist saying that I need to make an appointment. If you don't know what an endodontist is, basically, that's the guy you go to when you need a root canal. And some of you may know, I had said operation done about a year ago, and they want me to 
call in and uh, get a checkup on that. So I plan to be doing that. Uh, in the eBay package was a pair of these USB uh, wireless cards. Well, I guess you can't really call them a card, but uh, V West Life told me about these, and uh, I bought one sometime back for a project, and it's looking like I may need another one. I figured for five bucks, I might as well just get two, and that way I have one on hand for, I guess you could say, surprises. However, that's not the end of the packages. I've got a package here from Summit Racing. But that will be its own video. <sighs> well, I di I'm sorry I didn't get any footage. I should have, but I simply put, I just got into the project, so to speak, and forgot to film. But I successfully pigtailed the hot and neutral wires. I did not have a lot of room to work with. I mean, after I cut things down, I did not have a lot of wire to deal with, but... Anyway, I got it pigtailed. I got it hooked to the, the wire nuts in there. Wire nuts are on tight. And uh, I always go over them with electrical tape just to make sure they stay tight. Just kind of just that extra layer of safety kind of thing. Wrap the outlet in electrical tape. Some would debate uh, whether or not you need to. Especially in modern day plastic electrical boxes. But this is a metal box. So... I like to have that extra little bit of insurance there. And as I stated, these boxes are tight. Uh, the thing really working in my favor is the fact that this particular outlet is using 14 gauge wire. So that gave me just a little bit more room to work with. When I did some other outlets in the house that was 12 gauge, I it was a bit of a fight to get everything back together. but. The 14 gave me just that extra little bit, so extra little bit thinner, a little bit uh, softer, gave me just that little bit extra, especially here behind the bed where I don't have a lot of room to work, so thankful for that. So I'm going to do a couple quick short checks and uh, turn the power back on and see if uh, we have power, preferably without sparks. Oh yeah, and somewhere in there we'll put the outlet plate back on. Well, it's feeding the light, so... I think we call this an epic win. Now there's only one thing left to do.